Today's problem, we will be looking to find out what the least amount of paper is to be used. We have a rectangular page that contains 54 inches of print. The margins at the top and bottom are one and a half inches, and the margins left to right to be one inch. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make a little diagram. Putting in the 54 inches, square inches of writing, one inch margin on left and right, and one and a half. And we can also do a little x plus 2, and then y plus 3 inches will actually be the size of our paper. So the first thing we have to do is come up with our formulas. Equation 1 would be our actual print, x times y equals 54 square inches. And the second equation would come up with the area of the paper, which would be our x plus 2 and y plus times y plus 3. We actually we will start with the substitute. We will solve for x on the first one. So it will be 54 over y. And then we will plug that and substitute it into the area. So we have 54 plus 2 times y plus 3. Do our foil. We come up with 2y plus 162y to the negative 1 plus 60 after we foil that all out. Next we want to come up with our, do, do the calculus part of this, come up with the first derivative. So our first derivative would be 2 minus 162y to the negative 2. And then we will set set that to zero and solve for y. We come up with y equals nine inch nine inches. Now we'll take that y equals nine inches and we'll plug that back into our first substitution to solve for x, which was fifty-four over y. To plug our y back in be fifty-four over 9. Now to find our dimension of our paper we will plug the, the x back in so our width which would be our x plus 2 would be our 6 plus 2 which would be 8 inches and the length would be y plus 3 which is 9 plus 3 equals 12 inches. To make sure that we got to double check to see if we got the least amount of paper we'll go to our second derivative and then we know it's more, it's positive, so that means that is our minimum. So our answer will be 8 inches for the width and 12 inches for the length. 